Hi, welcome back. Today I want to show you what we did for Spanish this year. We did the Song School Spanish Level 1. There's two levels of Song School, and then it goes to a different kind of format. It's not Song School anymore. But they do have a continuation of Spanish in this program. The company is Classical Academic Press, and we've really, really enjoyed it. So let's talk about all the components. We got the whole shebang. So it comes with the teacher's manual, the student book, the DVD set. This CD came in the back. This book, we just have it in the CD protector so it doesn't fall out and get damaged. It also comes with flashcards. There's a ton of them. So there's 30 lessons plus a few review lessons. So it's not quite 36 weeks, but it's pretty close. <laughs> the teacher in here is really sweet. She talks slowly. She has you repeat the words. It's not a full immersion program. It's more of a vocab program. And at first I was really hesitant about it. I didn't know how helpful that would be, but it's been so helpful. We like to watch Salsa Spanish. I'll link it below. It's free on YouTube or PBS, but we were watching it last year. You know, and you'd pick up a couple words here and there, but after doing this program, holy cow, I can understand probably 70 to 80% of what they're saying. So I was really impressed with this. All right, so this one is all the songs. So each chapter has multiple songs to help you learn the new vocabulary. The teacher's book is not really necessary. It does save time if you want to just glance at the page and then at what the student did. It just saves time instead of looking back and forth in the book, and I'll show you that in a minute. However, in the back, there are extra pages, so the extra practice ones. There's one activity page for each chapter, two pages for the review chapters, and a four-page end of your book review. So I wish they had these in this book, just labeled like optional or extra or something, because you don't want to like write in the teacher book if you have more than one kid, you have to copy it anyway. So I did spend time copying this out. Um, we didn't use it during this year, but we are going to be using it this summer just to review over the summer, and they have the answers in here, which is also really nice. You can also get the videos streaming. I just got the DVD because our internet isn't always the best. It goes out sometimes, so that's why I got the DVD. But you can also get it streaming and then just log on to them, Classical Academic Press, and, and watch it there. So this level is for kindergarten through third grade. My kids are first and second grade this year that we used it. Yeah, okay, so 25 week weekly lessons and six review chapters. And you learn over 100 vocabulary words. One review I saw before I bought this said that some of the songs concentrated more on the singer's vocal abilities than the actual song, and it was hard to sing along. I did not find that to be the case at all. All the songs sound different from each other, which is nice. And I'm one to get really annoyed with kids' songs, but there's only a couple on here that really bothered me. Most are kind of fun to sing. And they actually are really, really helpful for getting the vocabulary down and the pronunciation down. And like I said, I didn't find any song too hard to sing at all. So let me show you what's in the student workbook. And I apologize, it is filled out, but I wanted to use it so I could review it for you. All right, so here's the little contents. These are just normal beginning Spanish things. Greeting words, making friends, how are you, family. So you'll probably find the same kind of things in any beginning Spanish program. We also tried Calico Spanish this year through an online program we were doing, but I don't think it was very effective at teaching. This one was a lot more effective, I thought. So you have the CD track information, schedule and pacing. So you're supposed to cover one chapter a week. The workbook pages did not take 10 to 15 minutes per day. I would say maybe five or six minutes a day, unless you watch the lesson, then it probably would be that amount of time. I guess you have the songs in there too. It's probably about 10 minutes. So, we, you know, it's good for little kids. And then a suggested schedule for teaching song school Spanish. So what they suggest is a day a week schedule. What we usually did is we just, like day one, we had them watch the video and then do the first page or two and the next page, the next page or two. And then if there's any more pages to do that. There's also activities interspersed through here. And then of course we had them listen to the songs for all the days. And then for the next chapter, I'd have them listen to the song from the previous week as well as the new songs. We have a pronunciation guide. All right, so here's how all the chapters are set up. So they have the words to learn. The only thing I wish they had, like phonetic pronunciations, because I mean, I know they have a pronunciation guide here, but it would have been very helpful to have that here too. Chapter songs. Sometimes they have like a little teaching thing in here. And they have these tracing things you do. They have activities too, and each chapter is a little bit different. And this one is a fun game. You come and run and say adios, and then you run away, and it was really fun. You can fill in the stories. Puppet show these guys were in the back to cut out. Show what you know, write the words in. 
So it's kind of the same format each week, but the activities are a little bit different each time. So I'll just flip through it so you can see, you kind of get an idea. You can see there's more than one, there's like two or three songs per chapter. And in the review, you have to say what all the Spanish words mean. And you go through the songs again too. chapter glossary. This is really helpful. I didn't realize they had this until <laughs> you're over like halfway through the program. The alphabetical glossary was even more helpful I thought. So here's the cutouts for the puppet show that I showed you earlier in the beginning of the book. And so they have different games and things that you do with these. We didn't always do these. So then the next one is going to have 125 vocab words and then 29 new songs instead of 40 songs and 100 vocab words. And again, you can stream it. So I really like this a lot. And it also comes with these cards. You can use them as flashcards or as memory. The nice thing is they're sorted by chapter. So you don't have like a giant, you don't have to use all the cards at once. So like it has two on it, and one, and there are different colors per chapter. The numbers on here are the chapter numbers. And so it has a little Spanish, I don't know if you can see it. It has a Spanish answer on it too. The kids don't normally notice that. So you can do it by flashcards or you can do it by memory. And so you have ones that have the Spanish word on them and ones that just have the English word whatever match Spanish to English. We didn't use this as much the second half of the year, but we are going to ramp that up this summer. Let me know in the comments what you love to use for Spanish for your kids. Let's get a good list of resources going. All right, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.